Continue the story from where you left off. Tired. I brought this shit upon myself. It's okay. I settled things. Wine, women, and dice. Those are the three woes. To reel off a recitation from a certain someone. Well, liquor is the closest I've got to any of those. So, drink up. Yeah, thanks. You got a mail. Continuing our coverage of the mysterious Anthony Steve Dello. A Steve? Sheep in my dreams. The voice on the phone, I think. Justin Bailey, age 37. Justin. <sighs> Justin? Dead? It can't be. He liked to sit on the edge seat. Daniel Kirsch. Daniel? <sighs> Daniel? Daniel, who used to come here? Oh, no. I can't believe this. That concludes our coverage for now. Now on to the local weather report. We're in for some rain starting tomorrow afternoon. Make sure you've got your umbrella. After the commercial break, we'll... So you handled the cheating situation. Yeah, but I look. It's easy to want something, but some people find it harder to give something. Are you an amateur psychologist or something? No, no. I'm just. <sighs> Whatever. Mr. Morgan blamed him. Mr. T Mr. Mr. Daniel. Bl Miss Anna blamed her. S Mr. D but is, is there, there any human without sin? sin? You? I wasn't a fan of that song, but now I kind of miss it. Maybe I'll learn to play the bossa nova on the piano. Because you're the boss? Ah, you ruined the punchline. a difficult thing. How long in woman lasts the fire of love if I or touch do not be lighted often to take the thoughts from a certain someone? Who the hell is that certain someone? This time it would be Dante, I believe. Anyway, even if it looks like it's burning hot now, the fire in the heart of a woman may just flicker out over time. Look, it'll be all right. I just can't think straight today. Uh, oh, it's late. I don't feel well. I guess I should go home. <sighs> well, that was quite a scene there. <laughs> but the true test is after this, 
right? <laughs> did, I, did I just hear something? A cat has nine lives, and the woman has the life of nine cats. Or so the saying goes. Women must be strong. I don't know. Today's just... feeling I'll be able to sleep well tonight. Yeah, I'm sure. And sorry for causing a lot of trouble. You apologize to the boss for me. <laughs> See ya. So rested. I haven't felt like this in a while. Wait, I didn't have any nightmares. Does that mean I'm saved? <laughs> Hello? Is anybody here home? What the hell? Does anyone here want to save big money on their internet access? Yeah, right. Sleep. Oh, sorry, but you weren't answering your phone. Um, we need to talk, okay? We do? Okay. Come on in. <laughs> Hello? Uh, huh? Who's that? Uh, what, what, what are you doing here? Oh, God, this can't be happening. So you need to have a chat with Vincent, right? Come in, make yourself at home. <laughs> How about a cup of coffee? We are going inside, and you're going to tell me exactly what's going on here. So, if I'm not mistaken, it would appear you have another woman in your life, yes? No, no, no. It, it, she's just... I... If you're going to make excuses, can you at least look me in the eye? <sighs> Let me get this straight, then. You got into this even though you knew I was pregnant. With your child. Shit. I gotta fix this fuck up right now. No, 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 no. Th that isn't it. So ah! what is it then? I thought you were acting a little weird recently, but this? It, it's not what you think. So much is going wrong. You gotta believe me here, okay? Here you go. And two sugars for you. Just the way you like it, Vincent. You... So what do you think? Maybe now would be a good time to break it to her, Vince. She's extra baggage in your life, right? <gasps> uh, I, I never said that. What are you saying? And I don't want to hear any more of your bullshit. Vincent, honey, you're not really going to try and play dumb now, are you? After all you've done to my body, night after night. Uh, you pig. If you work hard enough to get something, you'll get it. Don't you think that's true? 
Well, he worked me hard, and now he's got me. Simple as that. Plus, I'm sure you have no idea of this even, but this one's a wild man in the sack. <laughs> I don't think you can satisfy him anymore. What? <sighs> what are you, damn sick in the head or something? Listen, honey, Vincent here only needs one thing in this world, all right? And it's sitting right next to him. Now take a hint and get out of here. Why the hell should I? You're the one who should be leaving, bitch! Careful, you keep making faces like that and you'll start getting wrinkles, you old granny. Why, you! You little whore! Damn it, Vincent! God, what can I say to fix this? <clears throat> um, so, uh, uh, can you ever forgive me? You want me to forgive you? How can I? W wait a second, I can explain. I will never forgive you! Hey, hey, stop it! Uh, Just listen to me. I've already called it off with her. She just snuck in here, okay? Please, you gotta believe me. It's because of you that Vincent's so confused right now. If you just go away, he could finally be free. Uh, are you crazy? Uh, 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 Get away! Uh, don't you run away from me! No, 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 is this really happening? Catherine? God. Catherine, look at me. Calm down. Calm down! Calm down. Everything is gonna be fine. Listen, you go home right now. Leave the rest to me. Just do it! But I... Come on! What is going on? What is this? What the hell is this? I won't let you get away. That voice. It's her. What is this, Vincent? We we have to run. Catherine, follow me! Welcome to the Cathedral. This final stage requires you and your lover to reach the final goal together. Call your companion to guide her and escape this challenge. <laughs> 